All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this um, G MSI GS63 Stealth 8RE-010US. Um, it's also known as model MS-16K5. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, don't forget the one under this factory um, sticker. Okay. So once you get all those screws out, what you want to do is go along the edge. And then on the sides, you can actually lift up the cover like this. So just go in the edge of the cover here. Okay and then lift it up and while you're lifting up this cover you need to push the top layer in this way so while you're doing that just push it and you'll hear it pop open the latches will release okay and just like that so now the cover comes up at an angle like this all right to remove these um this side's a little bit tricky um this part uh right here this bezel it comes off um but it's latched in a funny way. So the way you get this out, um, you need to use a thin pry tool or maybe your fingernails. Um, and what you do is you pull on this. So if you pull on this, there's a piece of plastic that goes out into the metal casing that goes down. And that's what's holding this in place. So while you're pulling up from the corner or the side here, you need to pull the this this part of the bezel back okay so just go along um, you'll feel it and then just keep going you'll feel another one just keep going and then keep pulling while you're lifting this okay and keep going if it gets stuck on that side you can go on the other side do the same thing lift it up while you're lifting it just pull the bezel outwards just like this okay just like that and it'll come out so here you can see on the cover it has these little notches here I don't know if you can see it in camera but there's little notches in this cover that these plastic protrusions stick into and that's what holds it in place okay so once you do that you want to disconnect the battery of course so the battery let's see it's not really held in with screws it looks like they use an adhesive to hold it in place so I'm not going to rip the battery out because I don't want to rip the adhesive. So I'm going to just pull the connector out. So usually what you want to do is get as close to the cable as possible. And then you can grab it and just wiggle it while you pull. Okay, just keep doing that. And it'll slowly come out. So just keep trying. Don't use too much force. Just keep wiggling and pulling. All right. Let's see the glue. Let's see if I can take this battery out without... Damaging it, the glue. Uh, no, the glue is very strong. Yeah. So it looks like I'd have to leave the battery in place. They use these little foamy adhesive pads on the sides. I don't know if you can see. But um, yeah, so since it's stuck like that, I'm going to have to just keep wiggling and pulling just like this. All right. Wiggling and pulling. Just keep going and it'll come out just like that. All right. Once you do that, usually it's best to drain the power. Oh, once you remove the cover, this bezel can come out by rotating it like this. So you can rotate it and then you can set the bezel aside. All right, so once you undo the battery, you want to hold the power button just to drain any power. You want to make sure that um, no power is left on the computer. Oops, sorry, the power button's right here. All right, just hold it for a few seconds. Make sure it's drained so that no power is running through the board. All right. Okay, once you do that, you can go ahead and start removing all the other components. So there's all these little cables here. Um, a lot of them are covered, so I don't know what exactly they're going to. I'll know once I remove them. But um, here's the hard drive cable. Uh, There's a two and a half inch um, SATA hard drive. Let's see, it doesn't look like they're holding this in with any screws either. So it looks like we'll have to pry it out. Usually to do this, if you have like a screwdriver, um, I mean a screw for the hard drive, you can use that to lift it. But I like to use like a smaller round screwdriver bit. Um, there's a T8 that fits in there and then you can use that for leverage to kind of lift it at an angle. I don't know if you saw that, but you can put it in the screw hole and then lift it at an angle just like that. Okay, now you can see here, this cable is for the LED lights, and then you got this cable here for the power button itself. So we can disconnect that. 
All right. I think they use an adhesive to hold that as well. Okay, so just pull the tab, you can get it out. Down here, it's held with an adhesive, like a pad and an adhesive, so it's stuck to that. And then there's the LED connector here. Just grab it, hopefully you can see, but you grab the little blue tab and then you can pull it out. All right, just like that. Move that aside. All right, keep all the screws in order because they are different sizes, different shapes, so you don't want to mix them all up. All right, then you can go, since this battery is glued in place and I can't really show you what's underneath, I'm gonna have to guess what all these connectors are for. So it looks like this one um, is for this USB board here. This one is for most likely for the keyboard. Um, this is most likely for the trackpad. And then this might be for the trackpad buttons. Assuming they have separate connectors, I don't see anything else in that region. So that's most likely what that is. And then there's this connector here for the SD card slot and the, um, the ethernet port. All right, so I'm gonna undo all these connectors so that I can replace this fan is getting stuck so it's making weird noises. So when you peel the adhesive, you wanna peel it um, so that it doesn't pull the connector. So just do that. All right, undo that one. All right, keyboard connector, flip up the latch. All right, and flip, flip up all the latches for all these connectors. I might have to, um, I might have to rip the battery out because it's like making these connectors hard to move out of the way, um, but we'll see. Hopefully I won't. It's looking like I will though. Yeah, it looks like the battery would need to be um, lift it out to remove this logic board. So I have this longer flat tool. Let me see if I can pry it with this. Hopefully they didn't put too much adhesive. Okay, the adhesive isn't too bad. So you can pry it up with a thin flat pry tool from this side once you remove the hard drive. And then I'll put the adhesive back down. Okay. This adhesive is kind of like stretchy as well, so it's kind of getting all messed up. There you go. So there you go, there's the battery. If you need, uh, let's see if there's a battery. Battery model number, BTYM6J. So that's the battery model number, if you need that. Okay, so now we can see there's the CMOS battery running along under here. It connects right here, so if you needed to pull the CMOS battery connector out, it's right here, kind of hidden. Uh, let's see here. Let's move this adhesive kind of stretched up so it's not as good as before. Okay, um, so this cable, it looks like it's actually part of the keyboard, so I thought it was part of the trackpad, but it's part of the keyboard. So actually, no, it's running along down here. So this goes to, what is that board for? Okay, it looks like this board has another cable going under. I don't know why it needs so many separate boards, but there's another small thing over there. Let's see. Hmm, I don't see what it's connected to. So there's one cable here going to this board. Oh, I see. And then another cable. So it looks like these ports and stuff over here, they actually have multiple cables going to it. So there's another one going underneath the board. This one is for the trackpad. All right, this is a very strange design. Then there's a speaker um, connector. So you just grab it with your fingernails like this and wiggle it while you pull it and it'll come out. All right, so both speakers here, the cables just go back and meet in the middle. All right. So this build is kind of complex, so. So a lot of extra wires. So I'm probably gonna have to disconnect all these little pieces. So we'll see here. So there's the wireless card. I'm gonna remove this board first. So this is the, um, what is it called? The uh, ethernet port and the SD card slot. Okay, so we're gonna remove that. There's a lot of screws, so Remember to keep track of all of them. All right, so you can lift this board up. Once you remove those two screws, I'm gonna disconnect the cable from this end. 
All right, so peel up this little piece of tape. All right, then you can flip up this little white latch just like that. And then you can pull this connector out just like that. Okay, set it aside. Make sure to remember where all these pieces came from because you're gonna have to put them all back. All right, the wireless card, black antennas on top, white antennas at the bottom. So remember, take that one out. All right, so to remove the antennas, you just lift from the tail and then it'll pop off just like that, okay? Lift from the tail, it'll pop off just like that. So the arrows actually match with the color. So the black one, sometimes they switch them and it'll just be one and two, but the black arrow is for the black wire and the white one's for the white wire, of course. Okay, so now you can see this board. There's a separate board here. So it looks like this cable goes to this board and then this is another keyboard connector, it looks like. So some gaming um, laptops, they'll have multiple connectors for the keyboards to um, prevent like ghosting and things like that. So when you press multiple keys at once that they won't stop the other keys from working properly. So that's most likely what that's for. Okay, so I can leave all these connectors connected. Then we'll get the LCD cable. Um, again, if you're unplugging, especially the LCD cable, you wanna hold the power button after removing the battery to make sure there's no power flowing because that can actually damage the board or damage the screen or the LCD cable. So just peel that up. And then there's the connector here. You wanna slowly peel this. Stay close to the adhesive while you peel because you don't wanna pull the wire at a 90 degree angle or you can damage it easier. Okay, so once you get that cable up, then you just go around. Let's see here. So looks like we'll have to take all these screws out. So, I think I got all the cables. There's one more cable here. This looks like a um, keyboard backlight cable. So flip up that latch. I don't know if you can see. Flip up that latch and then you can pull that connector out. Okay, I think that's about all the rest of the things I need to remove. Um, I will have to disconnect the CMOS battery cable. So if you can, get as close to the connector as possible. You can use your fingernail on the white connector or a pry tool and kind of while you're pulling it, just wiggle it and it will eventually come out. Just keep working it. There you go. All right. And then there's this um, CMOS battery reset button here that you can actually, should be able to see from the bottom. See here. So if something goes wrong with the motherboard or BIOS settings, you can reset it by pressing and holding that button. All right. So it looks like that's pretty much all I need to disconnect. We'll see if there's anything else hidden underneath. There is this one connector here that's going underneath. Um, so we'll probably have to deal with that in a bit. All right, so we'll start removing all the screws. So there's one screw in this bottom corner here. Then there's one screw up here. I wish they marked these. I might actually mark these myself so it's easier to know where the screws go. So you can get like a small marker like this and then just mark it so that way you know where the screws go. Um, or if you record it, then you'll know as well. All right, there's another screw up here. All right. All right, so mark that as well. Okay, make sure I get all the screws. And we got two screws here. All right. Most of these motherboard screws seem to be about the same size, but to be safe, I would always like try and put them back in the same spots. So it's always a good practice to put back the same screws in the same hole so you don't mix anything up. And then there's one screw here for this fan. And I think that's all there is. All right, move that one. Let's see here if we try and lift this now. Okay, so the board is moving. I think that's all. It's kind of, let's see here. That should be all the screws, nothing hidden underneath. Okay, so that looks like it's it. I'm going to flip it over so it's easier to lift from this side. All right, we'll try and lift from this. If you're lifting it from the heat sink area, be careful not to bend this heat pipe. Okay, so I'm just using that to get leverage to grab underneath the board. All right, so you are gonna have to lift it at an angle. So this side will come up, this side will come up first because the ports here um, are actually making it stuck, it seems. 
So lift it up at an angle. All right. Is there any other connector or anything? Adhesives. Looks like everything is disconnected. So something feels like it's getting caught here, actually. I don't see anything that's physically caught there. So this is kind of weird that it's getting caught. There's no screws. Hmm. There's, oh, okay, that's on the other side of the board. So let's see if we can lift it up. Um, looks like you'll have to remove the connector, the white connector from this side um, because it's in the way. So let's disconnect that. Alright. Take it over. And then we'll remove this USB board with the headphones. Okay, is there only one screw holding that one? Yep. Alright, so there's only one screw holding this. And then you can move this aside along with the speaker. Um, to make it easier, you can lift the speaker out and get it out of the way. Okay. And then you can lift this board up. And it looks like there's an adhesive holding the white connector, but the white connector is on the bottom of this USB board. So you can flip that and then you can undo that connector. All right, I'm gonna take this out of the way. Okay, now this white connector, you don't wanna, again, bend this connector. So try and keep it flat if you can, and then peel it up just like this, okay? As you can see, we got this connector out. All right, let's see what else is holding this in place. It is coming up. All the connectors are out. So it looks like we do need to lift it up from this angle. And then now it comes out. Okay, now that you got all of that out, if you want, you can undo this connector. All right, the little latch. I don't know if you saw that, but I undid this latch to get this cable out of the way. Okay, so keep that there. All right, so now we got the whole motherboard out. This is, you can see there's some screws holding um, the fan. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the screws holding the fan into this um, tray. And then you got the two fan connectors here. You got two sticks of RAM. Um, this is eight gigs, let's see, PC4. Um, 2666V, all right, so DDR4 RAM. Then you got a M.2 SSD. This looks like a SATA one. Um, this is a gaming laptop, so I'm assuming it would support, um, I'm assuming it would support a NVMe PCIe SSD as well. Um, and then there's a heat pad here. I'm not sure why it's here, because it's covered with tape, so it's not really sending the heat anywhere. Um, then you got the rest of this for the GPU and the CPU. They're all soldered to the board, so you can't really replace them. Uh, let's see here. It looks like, and it looks like that should be it. Yep. So that's pretty much it. To put it back, you just do the reverse, undo everything, put it back. Same thing. Um, put the board at an angle like this first. Make sure you get all these cables out of the way. Um, so that you don't smash them. The keyboard cable folds like this, so it goes underneath partway. And that's pretty much it. Um, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please remember to like and subscribe, because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to clean this up and then remove the fans and swap out a new one. Um, but yeah, these little screws hold it in place, and then you should be able to take the whole um, fan assembly out. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.